Ah, yes. What up, YouTube world? Long time no here. Or two months. Just under. I have got stuff in. As you saw yesterday. I got that stack of them today. But I'm going to go through what I think I left off with back in early October. <clears throat> and I pick stuff up. I don't know. It's... I don't know. I, I'm i more so than I think others just goes through the... Oh yeah, this is awesome. Get something, get something going. And then it just... The, I hate to always harken back to the old days. Because I seem to do that in quote unquote real life. Or in my everyday experiences. I seem to live too much in the past. Or things always just seemed or were better. And the cards now, again, the patch situation, game used shit. I mean, Christ, if you thought this was all game used, even with the dirty stuff, you're all on drugs. Seriously. I'm sure 90% of this stuff is fake. You have Panini, I know they've shown videos of the hockey stuff for the sticks. They'll get that right after a game or whatever. Great. Awesome. Leaf Donruss playoff used to put out the product. They'd at least have a couple balls, a helmet, what, shoes, and then a jersey pants. Whatever it was uh, in the background. Or in the back of the card and then show you, well, hey, this was, this is the stuff that this was cut from. Could that have been a lie? Sure. At the same time, at least they're willing to say, hey, this is game used. This is where it came from. Panini, fuck. Tops, fuck. Upper deck, fuck. All it is is a bunch of bullshit. Money grabbing whores that just want money. And that's it. Nobody gives two fucks about anything else. It's just money. So, that's the where our hobby is at. And that's why I've, I, I'm guessing a lot of people have uh, ducked out. Or aren't as active as they used to be. Just because, again, everything is about the fucking dollar. Product redemptions. Oh, wow, you know, you get points. For what? Getting shit on? You get a Cleveland steamer if you get 400 points. Awesome. Anyway. Enough of that bullshit. To the cards. Uh, got this in a lot. With something I'll mention later on. So if anybody wants this, let me know. Andrew. Let me know. I can send it over that way for you. Worm. If you're still alive. <coughs> Um, got this for the buddy. I don't know if he has it. I've never seen it, so... He's out in Seattle now. Moved, so I lost my... Probably the best trading card friend I had. <clears throat> to move, but it's best for his family. He gets to be out in his grandkid more, and his son's down in, uh... San Fran area. I'll have to see exactly where he's at to let anybody out there. James, I know you're out there, but you're in... Eugene... But, uh, Huff, Huff Boy RD. I haven't seen Mark on here either. So, yeah, I mean, again, back to the first thing. A lot of people just disenchanted with the hobby. And if you're not, you're just buying what you want. And that's what, all you can fucking do. I mean, it's your money. Buy strap-ons. Do whatever. I mean, your money. Do with it what you want. Buy what you want. Show off what you want. I don't know. I ain't got nothing. Picked up a couple Quentin Patton's, a Leaf Limited, to two ninety nine, and then a Silver Spotlight to forty nine. I want to say one of those sellers was either a YouTuber on the forums. I can't remember. And then this, the seller had this in the first Agnew I'll show. Or I'll show it right there that was free shipping and I remember this being a tough as fuck pull back in the day the lenticular motion of uh 
95 or 96 Brett Fire Skybox shit. So, there is that. What will I go to first? Go to Bilal Powell. Picked up three cards. Still, I don't know, looking at his stuff. Not overly jumping aboard his stuff. Price is right, I'm all about it. But, uh... On top's Chrome Refractor Auto. What makes this special? Nothing. Except it's $29.99. His jersey. Uh, finest gold. 25. And, uh, sterling gold. To 25. Picked up a few Abreu's. As he's in some product. <clears throat> the tops update. Which, again, I don't know which one's the SP. I think it's this one. Here's the other one. And then got this one yesterday. PWE. Gotten lambasted with a bunch of that shit. I know it's the holidays. Come on, people. Stop skimping. Uh, hollow Platinum Blue. Out of not, uh, 2000 Pacific Prism. Number 80. Uh, we'll go Agnew. The Gold. Uh, what, 2012. Onyx patch, three color. One of forty nine. A limited jumbo auto swatched uh, forty nine. Black auto. And that's the 25. Treasures, Patch Auto, the jersey number, and that's 225. Thinking, wow, that's a nice card. Well, what could be nicer? And it's a higher numbered card, but I've never seen this card, and I love it's the foil etching, the old upper deck black diamond foil behind him. And so the player pops out, which again in Black Diamond it did. The patch is just fucking insane. So that's why I got it. I don't care if Webster wore a Dolphins jersey in the show in 1985 and somehow that was the patch that was on that jersey. That is a fucking kick-ass card. Oh, Northcutt. This had been up forever. I finally won it. Uh, UD Finite 03 or 04? 3. Gold to 50. I don't think I had it. So get it out of the way, might as well. <sighs> the Drunk. Nice one here. Uh, Hilliard and uh, Kerry Collins dual jersey out of UD MVP 03, I believe. 02? I can't believe that. But nice there. And then the finest gold refractor. No sleeve. Came about a week later. I don't know if I had it, but for four four shipped, I think. Five shipped. For something this tough. Finest gold refractor when the regular golds were I think one in forty eight packs, so one every couple boxes. And you had probably about forty to sixty at least of the gold. Yeah, I'll take it. <sighs> I'll go n basketball. I try to pick him up, but I just can't. Because the stuff goes for too much, and Asians love basketball and have more money. Because they control the world. Um, but I love him. I even picked up a right there, that blue stripe thing. That is a basketball jersey. Not that blue stripe thing. Right there. Uh, of this cat and I love him, I've had him for fantasy I think for three years now I always try to draft him 20-30 spots higher than when he's projected at Nikola Vucevic Fab Mello on the bottom there came like this too without a hard case and that is somewhere on here to 49 I think 99 right on the Mello part there um 
Crown Royale, Rookie Auto. Two, two, ninety-nine on the front. Buy it now. There's a slow, little dimple by the first O in Rookie. See it there. But eleven shipped. When everything else is about fifty, sixty bucks shipped for a silhouette, I. I can live with the dimple. I've seen worse, and I'll show you worse. So, at least the seller is forthright, forthcoming, honest with that, and the price reflected it, and I jumped on that price. And this, I didn't think I had a chance at. Rookie year, Panini Signatures, uh, die cut auto. Threw up a snipe of like 25 and won it for a little less. So, I win. Numbered one of five. Again, nothing super fancy about the car, just low numbered, and everybody wins when everything's low numbered. Ah, three stacks left. So we'll go Jordan Cameron, been picking up his stuff. Four or five emerald longevity. Got this in today, the platinum blue or whatever it would be. Rookie parallel. 10 of 10. Or 101. Oh, Tops Prime. Fifteen auto. Flawless patch to twenty five. Garbage bullshit. Flawless patch to fifteen. Oh, careful LeBron wore that at a Cavs game pregame thing. Don't choke. Don't worry. The Browns always do. And then a uh, contender's ticket. Happy with us too. Get this in there. McCown, first one. PWE. Look at that top of the white middle patch. You can see, boom, right there. That isn't a dimple. And if you look at the top of the right one there. Right swatch, boom. So you got two creases, and Mr. Seller's gonna hear about that because there was a PWE and it paid two and a half bucks for shipping. No, wrong answer. <sighs> Luckily, I've got a few, but I mean, they don't pop up that often, especially when you get the whatever the end from the ball, the Wilson. Nice little patch, number to 99, but yeah. Been picking these up if they're free shipping. Here's the green, and here's the red, white, and blue. That's the only way I'm going to be doing this set of the rainbow. I really don't want to pay any shipping on these cards, especially since they're not numbered. Nobody knows what the the print run is. I mean, you're just throwing a bunch of colored cards and hoping people buy it off the basis of that. Uh, totally certified mirror gold. 25, one office jersey number. Uh, this seller also had the patch, and I missed out on that. I got Obed to 10. Bolden Fitzgerald McCown, this to 100. Uh, I think this is to 95. Longevity, 32. Emerald to 5. The camel hot box version. This is a pretty fancy. Threw up a best offer, won it. Uh, I've got one already, but I like the patch and the numbering on this. Here's Jake Plummer. And then you got 7 of 25 and the tag. What an 06 Elite. It's a 12. Elite. 
uh, the status number die cut. And then I, one I've always wanted and finally got, I think this is my first, again, I don't look at my McCown stuff nearly enough, but again, no sleeve in there, shipped. Mirror Emerald Patch, 03 LCM. Guess we'll go JJ next. Leave Dougie fresh for last. Uh, Bowman Chrome, blue refractor, free shipping, no sleeve. Penny sleeves must have went up in price. You should get the PWE monster, which believe me has been striking with ferocity. But the penny sleeve monster, and that's what nine of one fifty. Here's the one that I got the Jojima gold with. Uh, 18.50. Got this. Michael helped me out on this one. This film not yet rated. Uh, Ovation, probably my fourth or fifth. And once again, no P or no um, penny sleeve for that. To 99. Tops Chrome Black Refractor. Still remember when those fuckers were going for 25 each, 30 each. A third or less. This was a steal. I'm gonna save the last JG for the last card because that steal I showed, I texted around a bunch. E ten of ya. But here's a purple ice wave, <laughs> whatever. 7 of 10 to the Duggies. Um, it's a, not two color, but it's got the mesh and then it has a seam and then the solid 22 of 99. No particular significance with that numbering. This is uh, from Collector's Corner, I think. Jared on uh, Freedom Cardboard, also on uh, eBay. I know he's up in the Pacific Northwest Seattle area. I think he's got a shop up there. He's got that. Then the SP Threads. Auto with the jersey underneath. 335 Got that for about 10 bucks. This I paid a little more than I wanted to, but again, at least the patches were all two color. I wish it was this year. Could have had McCown and Evans on there. I probably paid twice, three times as much, but <clears throat> Supreme. Got the three color, the three patch, triple patch, if I can find the words. Glennon, two color, three color on Martin, five break. Five break because he got a little black on the right. And then Mike Williams, who's on the waived injured list in Buffalo. How he fell out of favor everywhere is beyond me. But, there's the back. Oh, I gotta move my leg. I'm sitting on my leg and it's not doing any wonders. Oh, shit. This one, Christ, I bought. Bought and paid for, for a week and a half, two weeks ago, and finally got it in. Playbook threads, triple threats. Three color, two color, two color. Martin Glenn and Vincent Jackson. So at least you got Vinnie Jack. Numbered Josh Johnson, five of five. <laughs> so, last card, big money card. 
I know I've got one. I may have two. I'd have to look. I bought the one for sure that I know I've got in stop shows back in 11 or, or 2012. Late 2012, I bet. Supplies for stuff going out. For $95. This one I got. And I showed everybody that has seen it. And then didn't want to... Uh, didn't want to be tagged in a group uh, text, which I heard about that. I hear you, I hear you, but I don't care. It's uh, easier just to get the one text out and show everybody and be done with it. <clears throat> and this was from one of the, I won't say notorious shillers, but one of the guys that usually has a lot of people rolling on there and bidding a lot. There's Probstein. There's Big Boyd, and there's this guy, that Gunther, Gunther 13 or whatever. I thought I was going to have to pay, I think I put a snipe of 55-ish on it. <clears throat> but got this for, I think, 8.5 ship. A 2006 Sweet Spot Signatures update. Number to five. So, there it is. I think that's all I've got for mail. Besides, I got... I did get a bunch of more videos. Uh, some figures. Uh, that's about it, though. So, there it is, YouTube. Take her easy. She's easy. Hmm. Take her twice.